So uh, for the esophageal tubing here, the first thing we want to do is I have water here, but if you do a lubricant or like uh, water with uh, some dish soap just to get it um, uh, lubed up, this is something where the the tongue and then the esophagus, you want it to be pretty slippery for this kind of thing. So again, want to have it, it doesn't have to be too high in the air, you don't want it too, or, or too low, you want to be able to just rise it so they're kind of equal from ears to, to nose there. And then as you go through, stick it on in. It is going to give you a little bit of a, a tough push because that's the, again, um, the choking or the, the gag reflex that the animal may have. And then as you kind of push it down, um, into the neck here, you um, want to kind of push it into into place, and as you get it in there from that, now it's kind of I, I don't want to say it's stuck, but it's in the the position, and you just keep on pushing it down and pushing it into that position. Now, what you can see then from the inside here is if I take this off, all right, and we have this in place here, you can see the oops the tubing down here. And then here's the esophagus tubing. And so as I'm pushing it in here, I can actually feel down. I'm already in the tube. And then I just kind of keep on pushing. Um, and then I'm in place where kind of in this, so you don't want to go past this hard piece. So I'm kind of down in there. And then if you can see here, the tube is down into this already. You can see kind of where it comes all the way down here. So I'm in the correct spot and I don't hear that um, the ribbing of the esophagus. So once I'm in that position, I've gotten it down far enough, I'm bagged and I'm tubed and I can kind of do it from there. So you don't need to go much farther than that. Then when I'm done, you just pull it back out.